Hey, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. In today's reading, we're just going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. It's going to be a general reading, so it probably won't resonate with all of you watching. Don't force fit the messages. You'll know if it's your reading, if it resonates, if it doesn't. Just let it flow. Um, I do offer personal readings for those of you that are interested. Feel free to reach out and email. My email address is going to be listed below. nice interesting combination of energies and messages you've got a few major arcana cards and they on their own bring in some very powerful uh, messages i feel like there's a lot that's happening here for you and the, there are some major shifts that are taking place um, internally as well as externally the over um the crowning message uh, the energy that crowns the reading is the Empress and I feel like this is the energy that you're embodying This is the energy that you're stepping into. It's a very feminine energy. It's a very um, You know, it's an energy of beauty nature uh, nurture abundance She has a very peaceful aura about her You're stepping into an energy of peace an energy of abundance um, you also have a very strong and powerful connection with the mystical realm, okay? Some of you, I feel like you're psychic. You may be gaining psychic abilities or you might be heightening your psychic abilities if you are, uh, if you already have those. Um, there's a lot of abundance as well. There's a lot of abundance and I feel like see you're drawing on from the empress energy i think that you i feel like you're stepping into an area into a life a phase of your life where it's surrounded with peace it's an energy of calm it's an energy of nature it's you're also receiving abundance from a recent harvest okay you are entering a cycle a phase or a chapter in your life where you are receiving yeah congratulations because you are receiving abundance from some sort of recent harvest so all the all the hard work that you've been putting in you're going to receive you're going to see you're going to see the um to see the rewards i feel like you're also accessing a part of your feminine like a part of your self that like you're accessing this part of yourself that the empress represents which is like your feminine energy okay or it's a part of yourself that allows for creative expression or self-expression so some of you may have been holding back on that um and and now you're sort of drawing on that energy um you'll find that you'll be you're going to be more in love with yourself okay you might be rediscovering parts of yourself that you haven't known existed or that you've uh, sort of you know lost touch with um i feel like you're surrounding yourself with some of you are surrounding yourself like with um a very comfortable lifestyle or uh like luxuries that you feel you need to enjoy a comfortable lifestyle um you are certainly in a period of growth okay you are certainly in a period where you are growing and your perspectives are shifting and your energies are shifting as well and I feel like you're continuing to build. And for the rest of the year, you're going to continue to build on this wonderful energy where you're creating more abundance in your life, more of what you want, more of what you want to attract, more of what you want to manifest. Um, so allow whatever is happening right now in your life 
it's all a part of this major energy shift allow whatever is happening the time and the space to ground itself into your heart and into your consciousness okay um you are reaching for those of you that have been going through um how do i say this something very interesting like for those of you that have taken note that things around you are changing or that you're more responsive to the universe that you're you know manifestations have been showing up for you that you've been having maybe prophetic or uh, psychic dreams to the person that i'm speaking to especially to the person that resonates with this you are reaching higher planes of consciousness so you're stepping into a role of this it's a newborn character. I feel like you have more spiritual awareness. You're becoming a lot more connected with your inner self, with um, your higher self. For some of you, there's some sort of pregnancy that I see. Uh, it could be an actual pregnancy um, or a childbirth. Um, could be This could be news for you or it could be someone very close around you. Or maybe it's a metaphorical birth of an idea of an, a new project or a new relationship or a new friendship or a new chapter in your life but this feels very exciting i feel like you're going to have maybe three or four major life events coming up uh within the next uh within the rest of the year and that that's that's very that's pretty big actually that is pretty big uh pretty life-changing some of this is some of this will have to do with the birth, whether it's, you know, a childbirth or um, this metaphorical birth that we see for you. Um, some of it has to do with maybe a new relationship or a new friendship or, you know, a, a new business idea or a project of some sort. You are walking your own path. And right now, and I feel like it's about time, you are focusing your loving energy and focus you're bringing that to yourself and this is why i feel like more manifestations are showing up for you you're taking better care of yourself and therefore you are attracting better um you, i feel like you're paying a lot more attention to yourself this also means that for some of you um, maybe you've been neglecting yourself a little bit you're placing a lot of emphasis on your own emotional or material needs maybe you're going away on your own for a weekend maybe you're going you know for walks on your own maybe you're starting a creative project that's it's just for you it's just a hobby um you're filling your own cup whereas in the past maybe you were very preoccupied and concerned with filling it filling up everyone else's chalice but now you're filling up your own cup so that you can take care of yourself without feeling guilty or without feeling you know resentment towards anyone else uh, you're also craving a stronger connection to nature to mother earth so you're going to be spending a little bit more time in a natural setting beaches parks gardens um, also taking care of your home you're noticing the little things honestly I feel like you're starting to notice the little things there is such an energy of gratitude and you know when you're grateful for what you have the beautiful thing is you attract more um, if any of you have been feeling a block of some sort a creative block a writer's block or just like an emotional block that is coming undone okay i feel like you finally have this energy where you're you feel like you're expressing yourself freely creatively and I want to assure you, don't worry about what this is, okay? To the person that I'm speaking to, you've been blocked in some way. Writer's block, creative block, energy block. Don't stress. This is going to be a success. Once you unblock those energies, that is going to be a success. So don't stress about that. Um, you are allowing energy to flow through your life. There is also a situation that I feel like feels very tense and because this is your energy, maybe, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a resentful energy or it's like a 
conflict of some sort could be an inner turmoil an inner emotional upheaval or a chaos that you've been feeling within yourself maybe you've had some tension with people around you uh, maybe there's been one or two people around you whom you've had some very tense interactions with lately I feel like this is going to get resolved someone might be reaching out to you and extending an olive branch someone might reply to your messages someone might want to reconcile their differences someone might owe you an overdue apology could be you though energies could be um, switched but there's been something some situation in your life that Truth be told, you've tried to pretend like it doesn't bother you. You've tried to ignore it. You've tried to push it down. You've tried to suppress it. But it has been bothering you. And I think that you're going to get a chance to resolve this. You're going to get an opportunity to put this to rest. And that's because I think it goes back to this energy where you're craving more of peace in your life. I also feel like you're going to be cutting ties with certain people around you. Um, or perhaps you've already cut ties with uh, certain energies around you because of because you're because of this awakening because of this experience you're going through you're recognizing that there are people in your life who do not contribute to your happiness what do they do instead they take away from your happiness so you know if someone doesn't add to your happiness but if they take away from it you realize that perhaps you need to spend a little less time with those kind of people or perhaps even just remove those people from your life so if you cut ties with someone who just hasn't been good for you, you've done the right thing. Okay, you've done the right thing. Because there are some people who are just all about that drama. Some of these people are bored with their lives. And there is someone in particular whom I think you've cut ties with recently because this this person is just they're just they are all about that drama. They're all about just altercations. They're just they're a little chaotic from what I'm picking up. Maybe you've distanced yourself from this person. I think you've done the right thing. Because notice how life's been a little more peaceful without them. So, you know, don't, don't feel too bad. Like, don't feel bad or don't feel guilty because you got to take care of you. You have to take care of you. You've got to, you know... You've got to fill your own cup, right? I'm also seeing that you're going to be receiving some psychic dreams or the universe is connecting with you. The universe is sending you some very specific messages, okay? These messages can be so blatantly obvious that there's no way you can miss it unless you're just not receptive to, you know, what's going on. Like, these messages will be like flashing neon signs meant just for you but if you just open your energies up a bit you'll you'll see all around you that the universe is trying to communicate something very specific to you regarding a situation of some sort could be a romantic situation could have something to do with your career it definitely has something to do with your future and whether someone or something belongs in your future so um if you have a question in your mind regarding a specific person whether or not you're going to reconnect with them or whether or not this person you have a future with this person um also if you're studying something or if you're trying to figure out your career path or you know where to take things to the universe is com communicating to you regarding this future you're also going to get given a uh, get, give them a green light i don't know should you stay should you go should you do this should you do that there's a green light here that's coming or it might be someone new that comes into your life the universe is going to send you a green light regarding a person or a situation there's also something see that are happening for you with the four of cups energy but it's like it's happening it's like right under your nose i don't know if you're looking for something and you look in all the wrong places when it's like right under your nose um, it could be answers you're trying to seek messages you're trying to receive it could be maybe you're physically searching for something and you feel like you've lost it someplace but really like it's lying around the house still or it's like in, in your bag or something or in the car 
there's something here that I feel like is check your car check your car or check or, or check something check your vehicle whatever it is that you drive whether it's a car four wheel drive uh, a, a mini there whatever it is a bike motorcycle there's something here to do with especially if you've been looking for something there's something yeah so check it you'll find it there it's been lying around there or you you feel like you've lost it but it could be like wedged in between the seats could be like i don't know if it's a bracelet or it's paperwork or something that you've been looking for um check your card you can thank me later all right guys and these are your messages thank you for watching and listening appreciate your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now